Hello and welcome to the basics on John Blenkinsop. The Middleton Railway in Leeds has many international claims to fame. It was the first railway to be built under the auspices of an Act of Parliament way back in 1758. It was the first standard gauge railway to be preserved and operated by volunteers, the volunteers coming from Leeds University Union Railway Society in 1960. It is the oldest railway in continuous use and is also the first railway to use steam locomotives commercially in 1812. And the man responsible for that innovation was John Blenkinsop. Blenkinsop was born on Tyneside and was appointed as the viewer or in modern parlance the manager at Middleton in 1808. He was tasked with modernising the colliery, its transportation system, as well as reducing costs. When Blenkinsop arrived, wagons of coal were pulled by horses on two level stretches of track, separated by a rope-worked incline plane. Blenkinsop had the railway relayed with new iron rails and rerouted it to avoid the steepest gradients. This done, he next turned his attention to motive power. He would have been aware of the Trevithick engine, which had been built and tested at Gateshead in 1805, and this must have sparked an idea. But Blenkinsop was faced with a problem. Trevithick's 1804 engine at Penny Darren in South Wales had been so heavy that it badly damaged the track it ran on. What was needed was a locomotive which was sufficiently light so that it didn't damage the track, but had enough useful weight for adhesion so it could move a load of coal wagons. Blenkinsop began experimenting. His first locomotive was probably built with the aid of Matthew Murray of the Round Foundry in Leeds. The Round Foundry being the major rival to Bolton and Watt of Birmingham. This first locomotive was put to work in 1811. One contemporary account describes when we saw Mr. Blinkensop's first trial, he employed a small condensing engine, but finding the water to grow so hot that he gained but little by the condensation, he applied a high pressure engine with a wrought iron boiler and two cylinders in it acting upon separate cranks so as to produce a constant action to advance the carriage without the necessity of using a fly wheel. In order to move itself along, this little locomotive used a rack and pinion system, which Blenkinsop patented in April 1811. The next summer, Blenkinsop and Murray made world history. In June 1812, their first locomotive, called the Salamanca, brought the first train of coals down from the Middleton coal pits to Staithes on the River Air in Leeds. Before thousands of spectators with much waving of flags and firing of cannons, this little locomotive brought a train of eight loaded coal wagons weighing 28 tons and an estimated 500 impromptu passengers who had jumped aboard. The Middleton Railway chuffed into the history books with the first commercial use of steam locomotion. Blenkinsop and Murray's engine was carried on four wheels, but they were unpowered. The two vertical cylinders drove connecting rods, which worked a gear train powering a cogwheel on the side of the engine. This cog engaged in a cast iron rack rail laid to one side and the engine hauled itself along. It was the first rack and pinion railway in history. The boiler was made from cast iron. It was oval in cross section, made in two halves and bolted together. Running through it was a single wrought iron flue. Steam was distributed using rotary plug valves as Trevithick had done. But this is odd given that in 1802, Matthew Murray had invented and painted the slide valve. Because the eccentric had yet to be invented, these rotary plug valves were driven by tappets on the driven axle. 
Steam from the cylinders was vented into the atmosphere. But because of the noise of this scaring the horses, a large wooden silencer box was later fitted. These engines were only intended for intermittent or sporadic use. There was no coal tender or water tank, and the boilers were refilled with water after each run by letting off the steam pressure. Despite their diminutive size, these locomotives were heavy haulers. John Blenkinsop wrote in 1812 that my patent steam carriage is daily at work and is capable of moving 20 coal wagons, each weighing three and a half tons at a rate of three and a half miles an hour. When observers from the Liverpool and Manchester Railway visited Middleton in 1829, they noted one of the engines hauling a load of 110 tons at a speed of around three miles an hour. Four engines were at work at the Middleton Railway in Leeds by 1815. Blenkinsop claimed that these locomotives represented a cost saving of £1,200 per year between working the line with locomotives compared to horses. 16 horses and 50 men had been let go from the colliery, but this didn't go down well with the Luddites, who carried out an act of sabotage by placing large blocks of stone on the line, and Blenkinsop offered a reward of five guineas to catch the culprits. Blenkinsop and Murray's locomotives attracted national and international attention. Two were built for the Kenton and Cox Lodge Railway near Newcastle. They began work there in October 1813, saving an estimated £8,000 per year for the colliery owner. Another one was put to work on the nearby Willington Wagonway. Three more were built under licence for use at the Orel Colliery near Wigan in Lancashire. Finally, a Blenkinsop type locomotive was at work at the Nant e Glow Colliery in South Wales. International recognition came from French engineers who visited Middleton in 1814, and the earliest technical drawings of the Blenkinsop locomotive is from a French publication. Prussian engineers visited the following year, and the future Tsar Nicholas I visited in 1816, and he was presented with the model of one of the Blenkinsop engines. Two Blenkinsop type locomotives were made in Germany, but they did not prove successful. One, perhaps two, were more successful and ran at a colliery near Liège in Belgium. Locomotive working at the Middleton Railway lasted until the 1830s, by which point they had become clanking curiosities. One of them, however, was preserved and lasted until the 1860s but was tragically scrapped. One of the Orel colliery locomotives was supposedly still working as a stationary engine into the 1920s, but that too was cut up for scrap. So those are the basics on John Blenkinsop and Matthew Murray's patent locomotive of 1812, the first commercial steam locomotive design. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you'd like to find out more about John Blenkinsop and the Middleton Railway, perhaps you could pay them a visit and have a train ride. You can also check out my book, The Early Railways of Leeds, by Amberley Publishing.